Hi there, everybody. Uh, I'm Mrs Hill. I'm Head of P at Outward Academy Bydales, uh, and I'm going to be presenting to you a couple of key things that we're going to be looking at in PE next year. So the first thing we're going to look at is different skills. Now, skills can be split into motor skills, and there's six of them. We have run, jump, throw, hit, kick, and there's one more. And, and hopefully you're sat there thinking, I know what it is, I know what it is, I know what it is. Now, if you're thinking at the back of your mind, the last skill is catch, then well done. Okay? And that's where we're going to start off today. We're going to start off with catching. Now, being able to catch is great in activities like football, rounders, cricket, netball, so many different things, but it's also just nice to get out in the garden and do some throwing and catching. So starting off when we're catching, what we need to do is look at our hand position, and we need to create a basket. Now we have our hands together, kind of like a bird's nest, so that we can cushion the ball. So what we're going to do, you need something like a tennis ball. Football's fine as well, it's just a little bit larger to catch. And what we're looking to do is throw the ball up in the air, catch it in two hands, and we're going to throw it up to about nose height. So we're going to throw the ball up to nose height, Come down and catch it in like a little nest. It's going up. And if you notice, when I'm catching the ball, I'm closing my hands around it to make sure it doesn't bounce off. So I'm going to throw it up, and it lands. Up, and it lands. Now, if you can do that 60 times without dropping it, I'd like you to try level two. Level two is a one-handed catch, and you're going to catch with the hand that you write with. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to throw it up with my right hand, and catch with my right hand. Okay, so we're going to go up. Okay, now stage three is where we move to our non dominant hand. That's the hand that we don't tend to write with. So the ball's going to go up to nose height and catch. Now, stage four, you need a second ball. So we're going to throw the ball up in the air. And the other ball is also going to go up in the air. So we're kind of looking at a juggling action. Okay, so this is stage four. Okay, so the ball goes up. Ah, oh, she messed up. Up. Okay, so that's four stages, and that's really, really good activities you can work on at home. Okay, now the challenge to you is, can you get the two to keep going as long as what you can? Okay. So that is the first one where we are looking at catching. Thank you.